Is Tomas served a brilliant heat, thought he already shut it down. Looked about around his shoulder, saw a double barrel section for Zeke, got deeper on the end section. Judges after review of a, a few minutes there. Gave him the score and some to make it official, sending Zeke into round three, which will be coming up later on today. Taking off now, nice deep bottom turn. Spray to the sky from Frederico Moraes. Times it again into that inside corner to float that small inside section. Two big hammers out of the gates to start off quickly against Yago Dor. Well, those, those were two massive maneuvers, Joe. Late takeoff, nice deep bottom turn, and right in the pocket there. Beautiful surfing from Marias, and again, throwing a lot of spray into the sky and finishing off strong. Goes, yep, that felt good. Great way to start the heat there for Frederico Marias, and look at the score, Joe. Already coming through quickly for Frederico at a 7.5. A lot of power, straight up vertical attack. The surfer representing Portugal doing a great job to come out with a big lead early. Marias up and riding, Joe. Barrel hunting. Marias, big section, and he'll come flying out. What a heat. Marias, two quick stores. Maybe the best start we've seen today out of our competitors. Let's have a look here. Mid face there, stays nice and high to maintain that speed ducks his head under and drives through that section. That thing's just funneling off and Mirage comes flying out at the end. Kind of looks like uh, Super Tubos. The surfer representing Portugal doing a great job to come out with a big lead early. So Iago Dora can already wind up and set up his forehand attack here. Nice clean style on that front side wrap. Vertical snap to combo it up. Maxing out the finishing move with a clean off the top and landing on his feet. Two big numbers to kick off the last heat of the second round. Wow. I think Frederico started the heat thinking, yep, I'm in. And then all of a sudden, Yago, here he goes again. Dora now setting up that big section on his forehand. He'll pull in super deep down. This thing's stretching out in front of him. And won't be able to sneak out the other end. And Italo Ferreira was ramped up and ready to go in that first round appearance. Here comes Frederico. Perfect timing on the first backhand blow. Just one maneuver opportunity, but that gives Jago priority now. Nothing changing to Freddy's lead. And you know what? Smart move, though, because it kind of stops that momentum, maybe, that Jago might have. And as a competitor, everything's got to make sense. Every move you make, every decision you, you, you make has got to make sense and fit into what you're doing, your game plan, the position you want to be in, the pressure you want to apply on your opponent. So everything's got to fall into place for you. To him being a free surfer, and all of a sudden we realized he could do it with a clock winding down. There's a whole story of getting it done in a video part when you have all the time, but what about under pressure? Yago fits both stories well. Layback carve on the open face. Styling through this inside corner. Wanted to ramp up. There's the reverse. But can't pull it off. So tight in transition on those last couple of moves. I think Marais is going to hang on to that lead. 17, just over 17 minutes to go. So plenty of time. See the first turn there. Nice little jam in the pocket, but Wave didn't really cooperate. Knew he needed something at the end here. And, uh, it's not going to sit well with the judges. I like this turn. I like the first maneuver. Kind of hooked into there. Sort of more of a lateral turn, though, but sort of almost a safe maneuver for Yago Dora. And that's why we're going to see that come in at a 4.83. So he needs, he needs something along the lines of that first wave where everything fit, everything made sense, and just cranked it up. You talked about first turn was nice. Second turn, a bit more radical. Third turn came flying out of it, you know, and that's what you need. You want to shock the judges. You want them to be on the edge of their seat, wondering what's going to happen next. It's all about the barrel. That's what I love. Intense, short, intense waves. Having a look now is Yago Dor just up and out. Last score is at 4.83 on the left, checking out a right, just trying to stay active under Frederico's priority, down to 15 minutes on the clock. For Frederico Marias, uh, had a quarterfinal result. You go back to Bells Beach, still his best result of the season so far, which is 
holding him right on that cutoff mark at the moment. Here comes Dora. Racetrack section off the lip, a tail high reverse, stomps it clean. Wow. Well, that's the X factor that Yago Dora has. Said Steady Freddy, meaning he's just so clean and positive on the face of the wave. He's got the air game, but he doesn't use it as much as, say, someone like Yago Dora. Pumping, we knew something was going to happen, and lands that thing perfect. Comes out nice and clean, no fumble, no stumble. He widens the stance, he sets it up, he gets the pop. Perfect. Bit of a grab, gets the rotation, let's go, lands on the lip and slides it around. Absolutely perfect. So Yagadora, 7.37 required, Joe, one maneuver. And well, on occasions, the judges aren't scared to throw big scores for those single maneuvers. Is that going to fit into that 7.37 range? Warm up that got him well prepared for that ramp uh, that we saw before the break. Coming through with a 7.77. Dora hits the jackpot and gets the lead off Marias. 10.30 to go. Frederico checking out a right-hand wall. Power arc right off the top. Extends that rail line through the open face. Nice clean re-entry off the top and finishes. <laughs> Scream to the panel. Wants a score. He's chasing a 7.91. Potsy giving it to him there. Um... I'm going to have to digest that a little bit, Joe. The traditional style of surfing that Frederica Maras is bringing to the table. And then you've got the hi-fi act of, of Yago Dora. So what do you like? W what's better in your eyes? I think they're both brilliant. I mean, look at that turn there from uh, Frederica. This wave kept giving. So three, four, four solid maneuvers on that wave. I mean, you've got to give him a good score for it. Whether it's a 7.91 or not, I'm not sure. Is that better than his 7.8? Is it better than his 7.5? You know, is it right up there with uh, Yago Dora's air reverse? That so, second maneuver for Federico, if you're going to give him a signature turn, it's got to be one of them. That rail line, he extends it so yeah, beautiful. Right there. I mean, beautiful snap. Kind of cut that one short, but the next one holds it a bit longer. Now he lets go of it. So, I mean, I'm, you know, flawless surfing from, uh, from Federico. I'm just trying to think back of, of when you read out what the judges are looking for at the beginning of the day. You know, is it fitting in there? And, and if it is, well, the judges are going to have to reward it. Does that mean they're going to reward that better than the combination of major maneuvers, which was second on the list? Well, as you set that up, we're going to get a great example of that to really understand what they're looking for. Frederico power surfing. Yago going above the lift to take the lead. Torres up now. Big section winding up for a big backside rotation, but disconnects from his board on the takeoff. That's why it's so entertaining to watch Iago approach this lineup. You can tell he was setting up for something massive. Considering a little inside track under Federico's priority. So he's got some room to move. First turn, a little vertical hack. Second one, fin throw. Coming down to this way for Marias. Being a 7-9-1. Top turn wrap, super clean. Five seconds remaining. Marias on the windup. Speed jam off the lip. Going for the reverse on the finish, but he can't hang on. Marias felt like he needed to go high above the lip to change up his flow on his last three sevens. And ends up incomplete. A well-structured hit. I mean, didn't really put a foot wrong. It was just the fact he came up against someone that really lit it up. And Federico going for broke here. Needed some, something huge. Flying through the air. Missed the grab, and I think that was what spelled disaster right there. So... Great surfing from both guys. I mean, uh, another close heat, Joe. One of those classic heats. You see that fin throw putting everything at it. Got the hype and just impossible when his body was off his board towards the tail end of that one. Erica landing there. Yago Dora pulling it off, though, with a massive heat total. 8.0 and a 7.77. We'll see him again in round three, which is coming up next with Italo and Wilco. We'll bring in Kaipo and Pete Mel for the call right after this.